What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Uh oh, busted, busted. Conor McGregor is busted in a new doping allegation that I'm going to bring you here and I'm going to give context from the behind the scenes perspective of what happens with a UFC athlete subject to USADA testing protocol. So thank you guys for being here. Click the links below, learn about our sponsors and start your own Dolce diet, health and fitness, total body transformation journey. But let's get right into the allegations that first come from none other than Michael the Count Bisbing. Woo! Now, Bisbing is a former UFC middleweight world champion, and Bisbing recently speaking with Anthony Smith on his Believe You Me podcast had the following to say about Conor McGregor and the new drug testing allegations against him. It's a real toy. Uh, yeah, I don't think you saw her testing him. Listen, we talked about this before. I'm not going to sit here and say that he's taking steroids. Masvidal said that, and a couple of other people have said that. And maybe he's taking some kind of substance, maybe, to, to encourage the healing of the leg, you know, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's put some size on, because he's put some size on. But I'm not saying he's taking steroids. Maybe he's taking some kind of, I don't know what it might be, something to, to help. The, the bones and, and the, the rod, the titanium shin bone to help it all fuse <laughs> together and heal stronger, you know? So what Bisbing is saying here, he's actually speaking to recent reports brought about by none other than Tony Ferguson with regards to Connor not being drug tested. Let's hear what Tony has to say. You and McGregor, would you put the name in the hat? You told Hell in e Sports you do 170 pounds, you do 185 pounds. What about you and McGregor, Tony? I'm going to kick him in the shin. Regardless, you call him McNuggets, man. He's full of shit. So if he had the opportunity and listened to it, he probably would have went to McDonald's. He went to Burger King. So I get underneath the skin. So obviously we got uh, a couple things going on for him. Um, I don't think he's been in the testing pool for USADA for about five to six months. He's been on a boat, but I'm the real boat. That's the best of all time. All right. So right here, Tony Ferguson is saying that this is actually in July of 2022 that Conor McGregor has not been tested for five or six month, months, Tony thought Connor was out of the pool. Bisbing also referenced that Connor had not been tested at that point in the year. So I dug a little bit deeper and I found this article in the mirror. And let me explain this further for you. I will briefly read it so you can see what the mirror is saying right here is that Connor McGregor has been uh, accused of pulling out of the UFC drug testing program despite never failing a test. The Irishman has been tested 62 times since USADA began working with the UFC, but has not been tested yet this year or in the final quarter of last year. Now, this is a big deal. Conor McGregor has not been tested in the year 2022, nor had he been tested in the last quarter of 2021. This is what the mirror is reporting. So again, I did a little digging and I went to this, the UFC.USADA.org. This is the official USADA athlete portal for the UFC and we can determine what athlete was tested when now just to prime the pump here let's type in Nathan Diaz let's see well Nate Diaz was tested four times so far in the year 2022 his brother Nick Diaz was tested three times in the year 2022 okay so Nate was tested four times this year. Nick was tested three times this year, despite Nick not having fought in qu quite some time. Now let's look and see when did Connor fight? That is my fault. My mistake right here. Bam. When did Connor fight? Or no, when was Connor tested? Wait, what? 2022, all quarters, Conor McGregor not tested. Well, let me let, let this might be wrong. Let's see in 2021. 
Conor McGregor was tested 11 times in 2021. How many times in the fourth quarter? Zero. How many times in the third quarter? Once. How many times in the second quarter? Six. How many times in the first quarter? Four. So in 2020-21, Conor was tested four times in the first quarter, six times in the second quarter, one time in the third quarter, and zero times in the fourth. So Conor McGregor has been tested by USADA zero times. Zero times. In the last year. This is troubling. Why is this troubling? Let me explain why this is troubling. This is troubling because Conor McGregor in his last fight had a horrific injury a compound fracture of his leg which let me pull up i want to see his record here so i can give you exact dates and let's go to sure dog i will bring this back up for you so you guys can see this add it to the stream i'll make it bigger and boom there we go so conor mcgregor's last fight was in july of 2021 this is right about the time of his very last drug test by USADA because he was not tested in October, in November, in December. He was tested somewhere between September, August, and July. Very likely he was tested right around this performance usually you saw to test you within the month before you fight he was probably tested somewhere in july i can sp only speculate on that but it was quarter three was his last test and it was only one test in quarter three he was not tested in quarter four which means he very well might not have been tested since he walked into the octagon and he was carried out on a stretcher with a very severe compound fracture of his lower leg. Now, with all respect to Connor, and I am a fan of Connor's athletic career, this does bring up very serious concerns about the validity of USADA and why USADA has not tested the most famous athlete on the UFC roster. Why has USADA chosen to not drug test Conor McGregor, who is healing from one of the most horrific injuries a mixed martial artist can have. Why is USADA not testing Conor McGregor when Conor McGregor would very likely benefit greatly from legal yet disallowed by Yada prescription by USADA prescription drugs? There are many prescription drugs that would be amazingly beneficial for Conor McGregor to heal that horrific injury. Every one of these prescription compounds are banned by USADA. Why did USADA test Nathan Diaz four times in year 2022, but not Conor McGregor? That's a serious question, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not saying Connor's doing anything wrong. I'm saying USADA is doing everything wrong. Why don't people trust USADA? Why don't people believe in USADA? Why do not people believe that USADA is not a political organization? Why would they not test the most recognized name on the UFC roster? Why would they not test him? I'm not blaming Connor at all for this, so don't get it twisted. I'm not talking smack about Connor here. I'm talking smack about USADA. How can we believe USADA when they will not send an agent to test Connor McGregor as many times as they tested Nathan Diaz? No one has ever suspected Nate Diaz to be on any other drug than marijuana. Why is Nate Diaz getting tested four times and Conor McGregor has been tested zero times in the last year? That is suspicious. 
That is suspicious, USADA, and we want answers. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Leave comments below this video. Do you think USADA is right to not test Conor McGregor? Do you think USADA is clearly and blatantly a political tool for not testing Conor McGregor? Do you think Conor McGregor has done anything wrong here? Leave your comments below. I want to hear what you think about this.